All right, just going to do a video about how these charismatic tongues are not biblical tongues. The charismatic speaking in tongues is done by the power of devils. It's devil possession, plain and simple. And in Acts chapter 2, verses 3 to 11, you read about biblical tongues. They're known languages. They're not this demonic gibberish that the charismatics do. And they accuse you, oh, you're blaspheming the Holy Ghost. Read Acts chapter 2, verses 13 to 15. When the apostles were speaking in the gifts of the, of the tongue, they were the gifts of the Spirit, which was speaking in tongues. One of them was speaking in tongues. Uh, when the apostles were speaking in tongues, they were mocked. They were, they were made fun of. They were accused of actually being drunk. And guess what? They didn't threaten anybody with committing the unpardonable sin. Why? Because you can't commit the unpardonable sin if Jesus Christ is not physically on the earth. And by the way, charismatic heretic, you're not Jesus Christ. And... They say, oh, prove to us the gifts of the Spirit have ceased. Hey, you prove to me that your gifts are ones found in the Scripture. Plain and simple. If you think the charismatic, if you think your gifts are still here, if you think the gifts of the Spirit are still here, you need to prove to me from Scripture that your gifts are the ones in the Scriptures. Because I can show from Acts chapter 2, verse, verses 3 to 11, that the gifts of the Spirit, the, the speaking in tongues, which is one of the gifts of the Spirit, were known languages. And you read Acts chapter 14, there's interpreters for the unknown tongues. They're not the demonic gibberish the charismatics do. The charismatic movement is devil possession, flipping around and flopping around the floor like a, like fish, barking like dogs, you know, just acting all wild or crazy. It's devil possession. They're dealing with devil spirits. They are Luciferians. The charismatic movement is a Luciferian cult. I've said this before in other videos. I've harped on it in other videos. But you need to be, you need to be able to warn because they are deceiving lots of people. This charismatic movement via their faking of the gifts of the spirit by the power of devils. You read Exodus chapter eight, Exodus Exodus chapter seven. The magicians of ancient Egypt could counterfeit the gifts of the spirit that uh, Moses and Moses and Aaron could perform by the power of God. Moses and Aaron could perform miracles by the power of God. Meanwhile, the Egyptian pagan magicians could counterfeit those by the power of devil spirits. And you read First Thess Second Thessalonians chapter two verses eight to ten. And compare that with Revelation chapter 13, verses 11 to 15, the Antichrist will be doing counterfeit gifts and counterfeit miracles by the power of Satan. And also read Revelation chapter 16, verses, I believe it's 14 to 15, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, or for Revelation chapter 16, verse 13, I believe it is. Don't have notes off the top of my head. But the, the false prophet will be doing miracles by the power of devil spirits too. You're dealing with devil spirits when you're dealing with this wicked charismatic cult. Don't be deceived by it. Okay, you're really careful not to be deceived by it. It's very important. These people are deceiving people. They are false prophets. They're, they are doing it by the power of devils. And this is, uh, you think, oh, you're just railing. No, this is meant to be a strong warning and rebuke about this charismatic movement. So anyway, don't be deceived by it. May the grace, of my, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.